Hi everybody, welcome to a new all of the above budget movie review. And this week, or this time, we're going to get scary. Um, I did a few scary or horror bit things, but for this one I wanted to set the mood. So I did. It is time for Night of the Living Dead and the Dead Trilogy Series Saga, the Dead Saga. Uh, it was a trilogy turned into a saga and that's where we are now. It all started with Night of the Living Dead. George A. Romero's wonderful, and I got two versions. So. I even got the colored in version, so it started with this one, this beast, it told the story of zombies trying to get into a house where survivors were and it was so, f yeah, it captivated the audience and it was a movie that Stood it stood the test of time. Um, it's also a cult legend, so yeah, that's where where zombies and the thought of zombies in modern mythos comes from, from the George A. Romero zombies. So, and it was followed up with Dawn of the Dead, another zombie movie that plays in. A shopping mall. The, a group of survivors how, how, uh, gets held up in a shopping mall after fleeing from zombies. Um, yeah, it's a wonderful movie. It's scary. It's, it takes about almost two hours. And it really brings the scare. It has Tom Savini in it. Uh, a cameo, um, and it, yeah, it's almost just as legendary as Night of the Living Dead, so, and the trilogy, the original trilogy was ended with Day of the Dead, and Day of the Dead is the most gory version of the zombie movies, uh, but it's also the most claustrophobic, uh, although the second one was done in a shopping mall. The third one was done in an underground complex. And yeah, it really got scary. Um, many years passed, the original trilogy grew and grew in, in legendary status. And then it became time for a follow-up. Um, we got Land of the Dead, and it's more of a Hollywood version of what a Romero zombie movie would be. Um, it's it is a Romero movie. Um, it has Dennis Hopper in it um, and another and a terrific cast. Um, we see a world where zombies have been living for for years now, and the people live in made up yeah cobbled together towns, you still see a difference between rich and poor, um, but it, yeah, it's good. Uh, it's a good movie, it isn't as legendary as the original trilogy, but it's a nice sequel. Then George A. Romero jumped on the found footage train with Diary of the Dead. And it's a good movie, but it's too found footage and it has a weak story. Uh, so, yeah, it feels like a reboot, remake, uh, everything in between. And you don't really get to place it in, in the trilogy or anything. So, um, the last movie that was made with George Romero after before he died was Survival of the Dead. 
and it's another zombie movie. Um, yeah, I liked it, but it wasn't that super. Uh, it told uh, the story about zombies on an island where people lived and they had this feud. And yeah, it's you have to watch it to know more about it. But I didn't. Uh, it's too bad that was the closing part of the this dead saga. Um, what what was your favorite of the saga? Um, leave a comment down here. You can subscribe there too, and if you want to like this video, like it too. And um, I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.